Hey guys, Rockably here once again. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my spoiler free movie review of The Birds of Prey. And and one, the emancipation of one Harley Quinn. I hope I'm saying that right, but I dare you to say that, say that title five times fast. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, how is it? Is it good? Is it bad? How is it? Uh. It's good. It's not great like uh, BVS or Wonder Woman or The Dark Knight or The Joker, but it's not like awful like, you know, Green Lantern or Batman Forever or Batman and Robin or Jonah Hex in terms of like that level. It's still a solid, good film. It's good. Um, of course, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn steals the show. She's fantastic. I mean, she and her and Will Smith's uh, Deadshot, uh, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn and Will Smith's Deadshot was what made Suicide Squad, so of course she is Harley Quinn, kind of like how Henry Cavill is Superman and, and Ben Affleck is Batman, she she is Harley Quinn and she did a great job in this movie she really carried herself very well and the basic plot is you know, you know the basic plot of the movie and her character and what role she plays in is that apparently um, she has to protect this kid from Black Mass and pretty sure other people join Harley Quinn the form against the birds of prey though i think she's not really a part of the birds of prey just they end up becoming the birds of prey themselves and she just so happens to be there along the ride i guess yeah that's, that's, how, that's pretty much how it goes for the most part but that's 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 that's, that's all i can really say without getting into, into serious spoilers but it was a good movie it it was um the fight choreography wasn't like oh my god wow but it was fun there was like no, there was like never a time I was watching the fight scenes. Like, well, this is boring. It was intense, uh, dark, even funny at times. I, I really enjoyed it from start to finish. Um, excuse me. I liked the um, the actress who played um, Black Canary. I mean, not only she looks gorgeous, but um, she kicks ass too, and she does it in the most amazing way possible. Jeez, I like to see a spinoff movie of hers. To be honest with you. Hell, another one who's actually my favorite of the new characters, the Huntress. She killed it in that movie. She's like my favorite character, and her backstory is like badass. Seriously, and I would love to see her spinoff. Especially if I had to pick one, I would definitely see her spinoff movie as um as well. She was just amazing. But this how like how um <laughs> this how like she's this awesome badass killing machine. But she's so socially awkward when she's trying to interact with the cast. She comes off as socially awkward. Is this hilarious? I, I'll, I'll, I'll give away this one line because I'm not really spoiling anything. It's like, what? Well, that's a cool uh, bow and arrow. It's a crossbow gun. I'm not 12. But the way she said it was, even though she was supposed to be serious, but the way she said it came off as just so awkwardly funny. But it was in an adorable way, though. You know what I mean? It, was like, it wasn't like cringy or painful. It was like so adorable and, and you know what i mean it's like seriously they, they taught her to be this this badass kicking machine badass killing machine with you know the to defend herself and trust me she had to worry about what any man messed with her. that's what they have sure but no one taught her no one taught it to her to teach her the, some basic social skills blah, 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 i can speak english good yes <laughs> no one taught her basic social skills and how to interact with people he's like oh yeah she's uh she's going to be an assassin in one of the beasts in the world, but uh, yeah, shouldn't we teach her how to interact with people so that way she can those come off more natural? Nah, she doesn't need that. Killing, stabbing in necks, shooting brains, and decapitating legs, that's all she needs. She don't need friends. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure that's how the conversation went down when training her, but still, it just, it kind of feels that way. But, <laughs> but, um... But seriously, she was like my favorite character. You know the little girl that I don't think Cassie, I think her name is. Um, she was great too. The little like this little Asian girl. She did a fantastic job and she has a future in this um in this business too. And there's one older like jaded cop who got screwed over by one of the one of the other one, one, like, by one of the other cops in the in the precinct. They made it out to be this big hero and she kinda got screwed over. And she ended up joining the, the Birds of Prey. She was kind of, out of all the characters, she was kind of the weakest. Even though, she, you know, they they fleshed out a character a, a, a good amount. Not that she's awful, 
But I don't know. She wasn't like she was kind of the weakest out of the group. Not that she was a bad character. In fact, I let her see her return in Birds of Prey and see how she carry in the Birds of Prey movie and see how she carries herself. But out of the, out of the three I mentioned, she is the weakest. Second being Bird Canary, and of course my favorite being the Huntress. Of course, Maggie, Margo, as I mentioned before, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn stole the show. Fantastic. She had some badass ass kicking scenes. I mean, seriously. The fact that people think she, people think they could just mess with her, because she knows how to fight, and it shows in the movie she knows how to fight and hurt people. Because I think it has a lot to do with, with thanks to the Joker, because the Joker knows how to. I mean, he's not the, the excuse me, he's not the best fighter in the world, but he knows how to like inflict some serious damage on people. So I, I'm pretty sure he, since you know he was, you know, the girlfriend, I'm sure he personally passed on what he know to her. So that way she could really put the pain on the people that try to claw cross him and her but um but also um ewan mcgregor the guy who played black mass was fantastic though like if, if, that, if anyone that could rival margot, margot robbie's performance in Harley Quinn was ewan mcgregor's black mass he's probably one of my favorite villains since zod like that's how good he was he was just phenomenal i mean he was a just cartoon at, at, at certain points he was just Cartoony, over the top kind of character. At that times, he's just serious, he's just this serious like asshole bastard that you want to root against. But seriously though, you can tell that you and McGregor was putting his Mister Mister Me or Mister Hello there was putting his <laughs> heart so and soul into this role. He's blood, sweat, and tears. Like he like he was giving it one hundred and ten percent every time he was on screen. It wasn't like phony or phoned, and you can feel that he was like taking this seriously and I and I I respect that dude thank you he didn't really phone it in so to me he's not longer I mean <laughs> he definitely wasn't typecast if he was typecast before which I don't believe it wasn't I mean go watch um Dr. Sleep is another great movie he was in but if he was typecast before this definitely broke it because now he know as Obi-Wan he's also known as the character from Dr. Sleep and now Black Mask he's he's beyond proven himself I think in my opinion He's probably this generation Leonardo DiCaprio. This, at this point, this dude deserves an Oscar. He's he needs one because he's he's really showed that he can he can he can act his ass off, and he did a great job as a um as a believable like a uh, villain. Also, his sidekick that he's with is kind of this creepy guy, um, which he's uh, a D list like Batman villain. I won't spoil who he is because the movie doesn't really say who he is, but when the time comes. Those hardcore Batman fans are gonna be like, oh, that's who that is? You know, I was like, whoa. But then, like, even then, like, it makes sense, but, like, when he, sh when he, sh when it was supposed to be the, the reveal who he is, like, who is this guy? I still don't know. But then, and then when it, when uh, Hunter said the character's name out loud, I was like, oh, that's who that is. Okay. But, um, but still, they worked the, when, when that big moment that you, you see this footage out there, them working together. They're like a well, well coordinated team. It was a fun movie, though. The one thing I have to say that I mean, I, I think that really hurt the film. That it didn't really need to be rated R, to be honest. I mean, sure, her is doing not too well in the box office. Though a lot of people are saying it's gonna bomb, it's gonna bomb, even though it only took like eighty, eighty million dollars to produce, and they already got the money back already. Um, within, within like the first, within like a couple, within like the first four days of its uh, opening, so it probably won't make like a billion dollars like Joker, so, but it, it'll probably make like the ballpark. But time I'm predicting between two to three hundred million dollars, so kind of same as Shazam, not like not like a big mega hit like they predicted, but it won't bomb like everyone is saying. Cause like God, there's so much negativity of it. It's like it's gonna bomb, it's gonna do bad. Even though it made like its money within like four days, and it's doing well internationally, especially internationally, it made more money internationally. I don't know. People just you know, I think it's just a bunch. I hate people trying to clickbait and just trying to like you know. Notice me. Look, watch me talk about how this movie's gonna bomb. It, it just feels like clickbait crap, and I just, I just, I just hate that. Can you just wait and see what happens? Can we at least wait, wait like a two, three weeks to see what happens before we officially say this movie's dead? Because what if it's an uptick happens? Because, you know, a lot, a lot of critics liked it. A lot of audience liked it. Who knows? Maybe the second, maybe like in the second week, it'll be an uptick. Because maybe through word of mouth, it will spread in. Before you know, it'll make some serious money in its second week. We don't know. It's too early to say. 
But to sit there and say, oh, it's going to fail, even though it's only as in, it's still too early to say. Just, I, I think people are just trying to just get clickbait. Seriously, guys, it's just, it's just clickbait. I don't think it's going to bomb. I don't think it's going to be a mega hit either, but I don't think it's going to be a giant bomb that I make it out to be. But I think Warner Bros. is panicking a little bit because they're retitling it to Harley Quinn's of Birds of Prey. It won't show up in the movie, but like when you search it up on to buy movie tickets. Though it, it does show Warner Bros. that they'll kind of worry, but they really have nothing to worry about. I think they make the, they're going to make their money back again. Like I said, not a mega hit like Joker, but more like on the runs of Shazam. The, between the 200 and $300 million bar park. Which is great considering it only took like 80 to make. So I think it'll be like, you know, a moderate hit. To, to say the least, just I, I would say this, I would uh, safely say, but um, yeah, it was, but that's why we heard though, like you know, it was a great female cast. It was it was rated R, and it just felt unnecessarily rated R. I don't know why. It's just like why is this rated R? It shouldn't really be rated R. Though towards the end during the final battle between Harley Quinn and uh, Black Mask, I'm like, oh, I mean that's why it's rated R. Because <laughs> I mean there's some there's some blood here and there, and there's, and there's of course a lot of swearing. That's another reason, but they could have toned on the swearing, in my opinion. But there was like violence, but it wasn't like, oh my god, rated R. It was like PG 13 violence. But still, <laughs> I think that's what really hurt, in my opinion, the R rating. But still, if, if you're wondering, should I go see it? Yes, go see Birds of Prey. It's a damn, damn good movie. It's a damn good movie. I, sh I would definitely go watch it. Heck, I wouldn't mind watching it again. That's how good it is. Um,. I saw it on Friday. I'm, I'm posting it late uh, due to personal problems in my life. Sorry about that. You know, it's good. You know, work and doctor's appointments. Sorry about that. But um, but still, I wanted to get it up out there to show that, yeah, it's worth seeing. Definitely go see it. I cannot recommend enough. Go see Birds of Prey. It's worth your hard earned money and time. And spread the word, too. Let them know, like, hey, man, go see it. It's worth, it's worth your time. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. It's always why I keep late sending out. Hope you guys again real soon. Peace out. Another great day.